Laszlo, Nadia, Nando, Kuda, what we do in the shadows? Forward this message to 10 people and unforeseen riches will be yours. If you don't, you will be killed. Dark greetings everybody, it's Adam from FWCI and this is What We Do In The Shadows Season 2, Episode 4, The Curse. I mean we've got werewolves, we've got vampires, we've got babadooks and uh, now we've got curses. It makes sense. We've got necromancers, we've got... Tofer. We've got Doug Judy and the Vampire Hunting Crew. Jesus, yeah, there's a lot going on in this series right now. If you do want to watch ahead, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can do that, or you can just subscribe here on YouTube and get it a couple of weeks later. Loving what they're doing with Guillermo in this season. I like that that was the cliffhanger at the end of season one, and now we're really starting to sink our teeth into that storyline. No pun intended. But give me more Laszlo, give me more Nadja, give me more Nandor, and give me more Gollum! What we're doing with the shadows? Season two, episode four, The Curse. From the leader of an army that we defeated with particular brutality. Oh. Tens of thousands were slaughtered. I guess I never had a chance to open it. I resigned myself to surrender. <coughs> I plead for a road <laughs> to peace. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, you probably should have read that one. <laughs> it's connected to this ethernet cable. Yes, I know how the ether works, Guillermo. <laughs> He will communicate through the ether. It's gone play! No, no, it's just asleep. Arise. <laughs> arise. <laughs> what is arise again? Control Alt 7? Yes, Control Alt 7 will make your computer arise. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead and out of this world. Figured I'd mix it up. Stay dead, stay dead, stay dead. You're dead and out of this world. Make sure you tune into the next episode, it's gonna get worse. Uh, I brought some wooden stakes that... This is the errand, oh my god, Guillermo. For too long, these vampires have gotten away with treating humans like either dinner or dirt. You know, every relationship has its depth. So dramatic. Oh, they're gonna kill Jenna? I mean, Guillermo will be fine with this. In Staten Island. It's a very spooky looking place. No one goes in or out during the day. No. Guillermo, Guillermo. Do uh, any of these hedges look like... Vaginas? Vaginas? <laughs> My man. I mean, I guess some of them are of the adult nature. Yeah. Let's ride. Yes. All right, Doug Judy, let's go. Let's go kill us some vampires. Just not Nandor, Laszlo, Nadja, or Colin. I'm going to check my hotmail password. God, this is going to take him years to do. Fandango.com presents an advanced screening of The Blind Side. And you are invited. <laughs> Feed 2, Miss Congeniality 2, Impractical Magic. How about I have seen Practical Magic. I did it on the channel, actually. There's another one coming out soon, I think. And now cursed. Forward this message to 10 people and unforeseen... No! No! Nando, no! Bloody Mary knows who you are and where you live. She will find you... Who sent it to him? Was it Colin? Warning, if you've read this far, it's too late. You stupid bloody donkey, why did you let me read this far? <laughs> This is not a joke. It says it in many places. Here, here, and here. Oh. Don't look, my sweet darling. It's too dangerous. <laughs> oh, God. I can't believe they're all getting sucked into it. Oh, my God, it's dull Nadja. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. I, I thought that was clear. No, <laughs> it wasn't. Ah! Carsey's really hit you where it hurts. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I, I'm a little bit on the fence about Nadja as a doll now. What are we going to get? The email address is the email address shop. No, I'm guessing that'll be closed this time of night. <laughs> <laughs> One step away from getting our guts ripped out. What do you say? Well, how dare you do that? You want to end up like Ariana? <laughs> a Timothy at Circuit City Stores and email address. <laughs> Looks like sweet. Thanks, Timothy. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. <laughs> She's catering a quinceanera. Cool, cool, cool. That explains the boxes of 
Uh, shrimp? Yeah, man, knock yourself out. You know? Wait, 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 wait. Why is there boxes of shrimp inside this unrefrigerated van? <laughs> Whoa! What? Clary and Paul, is that? <gasps> oh no, they're gonna think it's the curse. <laughs> they can't even tell it's Guillermo. All right, this is crazy. Well, let's see how she likes it when I send an email to bloody fucking Mary at AOL.com. <laughs> Did she reply? No, it is from Mailer Demon. <laughs> Demon. <laughs> Get Colin Robinson's email address. Why? He'll well, send you a oh, Wait, Colin can probably set him straight, can't he? I'll give you my email address, <laughs> then I get the curse and I can pass the curse on to the company directory. Send it to Jason first. <laughs> oh, of course, Colin wants to weaponize it. Travelbug54 at AOL.com. Right. I chose that email address because I enjoy traveling. You do? All right. I, was <laughs> I wasn't aware of that. Yes! <laughs> It's not our house. We're fine. We're gonna be okay. Oh wait, no, but now they want you to murder other people, Guillermo. Oh hell yes. And let's just be cautious, guys, because they could just be regular people. And we're like breaking into their house. Get your cameras on. Yeah, yeah. They probably are regular people, and what the hell are you doing? Nah, not uh. <laughs> Oh my god, what is this creep fest? Ah! Let's eviscerate these vamps. No, 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 let's not eviscerate anyone, okay? This is already breaking and entering. Let's just leave this family alone before it gets worse. Yeah, this is a bit crazy, guys. This is not vampire hunting. This is, yeah, breaking and entering, possible murder. Oh, see, if there were vampires, wouldn't they be? What are you doing, you lunatics? If the police showed up, I think it's a hit to go. Okay? Hmm. Whoa, right whoa. Now. Oh my God. Yeah, All right, I take it back, Doug Judy. You were right. This is a vampire house. Get your crossbow. Get the sea bow, quick. They all gonna die in this episode, except Guillermo, obviously. Whoever finds us, you have to warn everyone. Oh, oh shit! Guillermo, you got the knack for this. Have you Just bail. Just bail. Wow, he's going back in. Guillermo, you beast. Hold him off this. <laughs> you have to go to the house. Go, go, go. Oh, are these are, why are these other two so useless? <laughs> oh, Guillermo. Where's the Sibo? Come on, hey! That's handy. <laughs> what the fuck did I just see? Who did we lose? We still have to get the van back to Derek's mom. Yep. Oh, Derek didn't make it though. Ooh, whoops. How's that email? <laughs> It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's just Guillermo, right? No! <laughs> He's not. No. Save the shit out of us. So have you been to a concert? Yeah. Mm. Uh, that'll do. Unforeseen riches. Oh, the curse! It has lifted! Yeah. <laughs> Alright. The curse has been lifted. Whatever. You know, while you were out running your errand, we were in very serious danger because of your machine. We could have been killed tonight. <laughs> Would you mind staying for a few moments just until I fall asleep? <laughs> oh, Nandor can be incredibly sweet sometimes and then a prick sometimes other. Vampires being murdered lately. I'm feeling a little less fearless than I usually do. Wow. Opening up to Guillermo. The vampire slaying familiar. I don't know how it's done. 
<laughs> I don't know if that's gonna do the job. I love the whole storyline of them getting the, you know, spam chain email and freaking out thinking that it's legitimate because they've seen horrible acts of violence and gore and that's what those chain emails were always about. So it would kind of make sense that they would, I mean, not immediately believe it, but take it seriously as a serious threat. I don't know. I just think that was a really fun um, element of current day to bring the vampires into. Guillermo, did he kill a house full of vampires? I mean, they only lost one from the crew. Doug Judy made it, thank God. But that was a pretty good twist. I thought they were about to go in there and just start like slaying humans and then all go to jail. And another really sweet moment with Nandor and um, you know, admitting at the end that he's not feeling as fearless as he usually is. We just had the um, moment with the, uh, the horse, the ghost of his horse as well. I think we're gonna get more sweet, sentimental Nandor throughout this series. And I'm here for that because that actor is fantastic in every single um, shade of Nandor that he has played him in, in this series so far. So let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Patreon.com slash FWCI if you want to watch ahead. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, ta-ta, and farewell.